Hello everybody, my name is SimK, and I would like to welcome you guys back to Tuesdays with K. Now today, I am reviewing uh, something a little bit different actually. It is called the Audio-Technica Pro 42 Boundary Condenser Cardioid Microphone. Now what this is, is a boundary microphone, and if you don't know what a boundary microphone is, um, they're used a lot uh, for stage work and all that kind of stuff. If um, a person don't want to have a microphone right here and they want to be able to be heard and it, like there's a lot of people like say for instance a choir or something they usually use something like this so um, what it does is it actually uh, is meant to be used at a little bit of a distance though it can be used up close obviously um, right now I have it about three feet away judging by my arm span uh, plus the minus of this and the distance between there it's about three feet so um, this is what it sounds like I will be not I won't be doing any audio processing but I might boost it in post so just make sure to um, check up here I always put it up here somewhere um, but anyway so this is a, a boundary microphone like I said and it has a cardioid polar pattern which means that it p should only pick you up from the front and a little bit on the sides because it has that f uh, heart-shaped lobe, cardio, cardio and cardioid. So I'm going to pick the microphone up for a second and do the, um, uh, the um, polar pattern test. I'm going to do pop test and then I'm going to do uh, the clicky-clicky and typey-typey test. And, um... Okay, so... I now have the Audio Technica Pro 42 Boundary Condenser Cardioid Microphone in front of me, and I'm going to go ahead and do the polar pattern test. Right now I'm talking into the front of it, and I'm just going to slowly spin it around as I talk into it to see what its actual polar pattern is, uh, see where its dead spots are, and all that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just keep talking into it, just let it, you know, uh, pick me up, and uh, hopefully there's... It'll prove to be cardioid polar pattern. Um, I do apologize for any handling noise you guys are hearing. But yeah, I'm now talking into the front of it. I'm now talking into the back of it. I am now talking into the side of it. I am now talking into the other side of it. I am now talking into the top of it. I am now talking into the bottom of it. So I'm going to go ahead and conduct a pop test. Uh, if you guys don't know how this one works, I basically say Pop Goes the Weasel, Pippity Pop, Pippity Pop, Susie Sells Seashells by the Seashore. And then I really ramp up those P's, really make them pop, and uh, all that kind of stuff. No pun intended there. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this. Uh, it's about four finger widths away from my mouth. So Pop Goes the Weasel, Pippity Pop, Pippity Pop, Susie Sells Seashells by the Seashore. Pop Goes the Weasel, Pippity Pop, Pippity Pop, Susie Sells Seashells by the Seashore. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and place it kind of just right on it behind my keyboard and mouse. Um, uh, it, not right behind, but like right in front. My keyboard and mouse, go ahead and conduct the clicky clicky and typey typey test. Let you guys listen to how well it rejects off axis, how well it rejects off axis noise and all that kind of stuff. Alright, so now it's right in front of me and I have it angled like this. So we should go ahead and start the clicky clicky and the typey typey test and just start doing the clicks and the types. I have a pretty quiet keyboard um, and my mouse is uh, decently quiet so it shouldn't be too bad in that category. Okay, judging by how it sounded, it seems like it did pick up a lot of that. That's because it's probably a boundary mic, so the, the lobe is a little bit more... It's a little bit different um, than, like, say, my main man microphone over here. My arm probably just got cut off in that image. Um, um, but, yeah, my main man microphone over there, it's a little bit different. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just start conducting the... Um, the noise floor test. Okay, so right now we're in Audacity, as you can see, and um, I have the I'm putting the microphone about three finger widths away from my mouth, 
and I'm going to just crank down the uh, gain and then slowly crank it up to see what kind of background noise this generates. Right now I'm actually at 100%. Um, so yeah. percent fifty percent seventy five percent one hundred percent okay so I'm gonna go ahead and start doing a handling noise test just to kind of show you guys what kind of noise you'll get from handling this microphone uh, more than likely you won't be handling it more than likely you'll probably just be having it lay down somewhere and uh, capture audio um, it'd probably be perfect if you're playing uh, some sort of board game or something like that uh, or if you wanted to capture an interview um, or a conference call stuff like that um, so let's just go ahead and I'm just going to rub on the cord, just let it do its thing. Uh, just manhandle the shit out of this thing, really. Um, so anyway. Alright, now I know this does not have a shock mount, but we'll see what kind of uh, shakes and vibrates it gets. So what I'm going to do for this, I'm going to hold it like right here, and then I'm going to go like this. I'm going to just... Uh, uh, Okay. Shit. <laughs> All right. So, what do I think about this microphone? Um, do I think it's useful if you are a gaming YouTuber? The answer to that has to be no, because it does. It's not meant for that. It's not meant to be uh, one of those kind of microphones. It's meant for uh, conference calls and um, um, for people that have to, uh, you know, that, that have to uh, capture board games or capture something along those lines, something that requires a lot of people talking. It'd be perfect to just place it in the middle of the table, and then you can all talk into it, and it's awesome, and it's sexy, and everybody's happy. Um, so I think that it's a very, very well-made microphone. Uh, it has pretty good durability. Um, it is plastic with a metal chassis, or I'm sorry, a metal grill with a plastic chassis kind of thing. Uh, the cable does feel nice and sturdy, um, and uh, it, it does require phantom power, so you will need that. But I highly recommend it if you are using it for like interviews, conference calls, you want to capture like a lot of your friends or something playing a game like maybe Cards Against Humanity. You have an intense game and you want to uh, you want to capture it. You just you want to hook up the webcam and hook and hook up a microphone so that you can capture it all. You can use this guy right here. It'd be perfect for that. Just plug it in and have no worries. Uh, you can always edit it later and do all that kind of stuff. So anyway, I'm gonna have to give this microphone my highest recommendation. Because it is awesome, and I don't think the Boundary microphones are doing uh, too well, and I think that they should be doing a lot better than they um, than what's been going on with them. So I want to thank you everybody so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a big thumbs up. If you want to see more, make sure to subscribe. Check out some content I create, including the links that you will see along the screen here at the end of this video, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.